You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at bbmglobalnetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to Your Business with Faith. Do you find yourself struggling with your business due to self-doubt, lack of confidence, and without a support team? Christian life coach Gina Sanasardo is here to help. Gina will allow faith to spread throughout your life, including your business. So now, please welcome the host of Your Business with Faith, Gina Sanasardo. Hey everybody, this is your host Gina. You're listening to Your Business with Faith and we're live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And I'm so happy you're all joining us tonight. We have a great show in store for you. I have special guest Lisa Levin here with us. Uh, just phenomenal, inspirational business worker and what she does and her philosophy and her role with her husband in the business that they co-found together. Um, just really inspirational and I can't wait to have you hear all about what she's doing. She is the co-founder of the co opportizing Network, which is an organization of small business owners who are redefining success by helping others first. It is a mission they are focused on taking nationwide to all 28 million entrepreneurs. I think that's just remarkable. I love how they say that's their mission. And what really captures me is that idea of giving back, helping others first. What really appeals to me, as many of my listeners know, um, I'm really faith-based, and I think that's so important that we think about everybody and not just ourselves. And all you listeners out there, you've heard me say it uh, time and time again, that most entrepreneurs honestly are caring and loving, and they're doing it because it's a passion. They're not doing it just because it's a job or an income, but it's something that's really important to them. So I am honored, Lisa, that you are with us. Welcome tonight. Yes, thank you, Gina. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be on the show with you, um, share this mission, and also, you know, obviously share that passion of doing it because uh, we are of faith. You know, we are not here for ourselves. We are here for a bigger purpose. And just to share that as a common goal with you, it's, it's really exciting for me. So thank you. Oh, gosh, that sounds great. And uh, you're no stranger to uh, kind of radio talk shows yourself, are you? Um, I, <laughs> you have a, a wonderful no. show. Yeah, so that's uh, this is uh, yeah. in your comfort zone. But, um, Lisa, I'm wondering if you could tell our listeners a little bit about who you are, kind of your background, kind of your story, if you will. Sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah, so um, my husband and I, uh, like Gina said, we run and um, are the co-founders of the co advertising Network. Um, it's something that has kind of come to us through our journey of being entrepreneurs. Uh, we've actually been in the business together for 14 years. And when we started, we were actually um, purchased a business coaching franchise. So my husband, Jeff, worked as a business coach. Uh, we both worked with small business owners throughout our entire uh, career with this, and um, he's built million-dollar businesses, franchises, um, just everything, you know, I mean, just taking these businesses to unbelievable levels. And um, the way that he did it and the way that he taught was through leveraging, you know, building relationships, leveraging those relationships, giving back you know, having a bigger purpose and a bigger mission than just yourself and really kind of taking yourself out of it. And that's where you can really get to bigger impact. So, um, you know, kind of through our journey, we left the franchise. Um, we started a platform called growthpod.com, which is an email marketing system that allows businesses to cross-promote 
without sharing their database. But through that development, mm. he actually had to go back to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, just kind of go back to the corporate environment so that we could live normal and still um, develop this platform that we just believed so strongly in. Um, and, you know, through that, um, through that uh, time when he was back in corporate, uh, the Lord actually took us to um, the East Coast. We're originally from Northwest Indiana. He took us to the East Coast and um, had him working out there and then um, actually brought us back to the Midwest, to Chicagoland again. Um, and when we came back here, uh, he actually honored his contract with the company and then left the company and came back into our personal businesses. Um, because I needed them, you know, I mean, I kind of took it, took growth pot as far as I could. Um, and I said, it's time, you know, it's time to come back and, and take this to another level because I've kind of taken it as far as I can. (laughs) So, um, and, and we've actually founded the co-op kind of out of frustration, um, cause with the, the growth pod platform, we, we taught that you needed to promote other people before they even thought about promoting you. And that wasn't a concept that most entrepreneurs and most business owners really worked from, you know, they didn't really operate from that space. So it was really kind of a struggle. And, um, then we came up with the idea of like, well, let's just start a network of people who really are passionate about helping others and really, you know, want to grow their business, but really want to do it the right way. You know, so right, that's kind right. of how we started the co-op. And it was even a year after he um, came into the business that we started the co-op. So it's just been a whole, uh, <laughs> whole big journey. Right, right. Gosh, it, I mean, it sounds amazing, you know, and it's, I think it's good for our listeners to hear how people do struggle and there's kind of ups and downs, there's frustration attached with it, you know, reality, right? It's not a, a fairy tale, you know, kind of livelihood, oh, you know, it so it's, <laughs> and I, yeah, well, and I, I think sharing the stories are so important. They really connect people, they inspire people, it motivates them to get out of their comfort zone and say, hey, you know what, if they can do it, I could do it too, you know, and I, what I'd really like to focus on, and we may have to uh, kind of pick up in our next segment, is if you can kind of tell us a little bit about the nuts and bolts about what you guys do, because you have this phenomenal talk show that you guys have through Facebook, mm-hmm. which I thank you very much had been um, a part of. I appreciate you guys having me on that. And it's yes. just amazing every day what you guys do. So if you could talk a little bit about that, and then, like I said, kind of the nuts and bolts about your business and what you do. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So every morning um, at nine o'clock, we have uh, our our show that we called Coopy Talk, and um, it's a lot of fun. It's it's just a candid conversation, um, you know, between me and Jeff, and we bring on guests like Tina. You, know, you said you were on our show, um, and it's really just our way of kind of helping others first. You know, we have the network, so we do the show. It's a live stream, um, and we broadcast it into our entire network. So it's just kind of our way of saying, hey, this is Gina or whoever the guests are and say, you need to know this person and here's why and just kind of give them the the opportunity to talk about their business, talk about their mission, talk about what they're doing and who they're looking to connect with. Um, Kind of, you know, just give them that opportunity. And that's all these businesses want are the opportunities to share, you know, because we all have stories, like you said. We all have an inspirational story and a message, and it's so important that we share it because it can inspire somebody. You're absolutely right. So that's just kind of our way of, you know, just helping out and helping others first. So, um, And then we have the Facebook group. It's the Cooperatizing Network. And um, just a lot of connections going on there. You'll see a lot of um, – of testimonies and, hey, look who I met with, this is what they're looking for kind of posts. Um, just a lot of positive, good things going on. We don't allow for self-promotion because, number one, we know that doesn't work. If I go around and say how great I am, <laughs> nobody cares. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's that's just true. The way it is. But if somebody else is saying it, well, then that's when people listen. So we wanted yeah. to create a space where people can really just promote each other and help each other that way. So, um, that's what the Facebook page is, and we do live physical events uh, where we focus on um, just introductions, opening the doors, uh, getting to to trust fast is really what we focus on so that you can actually build that trust with these businesses and get to impact faster. 
that's what we really want to see is how are you impacting not only the community but your business and these alliances that you're you're forming um, and just make a difference. So that's in a nutshell. I don't know. I wasn't sure how much time we had before we were going into the, <laughs> the commercial. Yeah, break. that's uh, okay. that's perfect actually, and it's it's so admirable um, how you guys allow for that platform for people to shine and show who they are and be able to talk about it and the audience be able to see their face and really get to know the people. Um, and like you said, having those other testimonies and other people kind of referring each other, so having those dynamics on the platform where you have so many people, it's so admirable that you have that. So it's, I'm, I'm thankful to be a part of it myself. And I know so many other people in that group are too. Every day I see someone else new in there. I'm like, Oh, I know that person. That's awesome. So it's kind of like a family, <laughs> but um, I'm going to ask yeah. my listeners to stay tuned. Cause we have a, a lot more great things to talk about and share. This is your host, Gina, and you're listening to your business with faith and we're live on the BBM global network and tune in radio. Hi, my name is Myra Fox, and I am a survivor. I am the founder of the Castle Lewis I Survived Foundation and the author of a series of books entitled I Survived a Murder Untold, which tells the story of my sister and I who were abandoned and left in the care of a woman who beat us repeatedly. Unfortunately, it resulted in the death of my sister, Castle Lewis, which is revealed in a page-to-page chilling story. After spending time in the foster care system, I've documented my suffering and my loss and ultimately my survival. I'm blessed to work daily in my community and surrounding areas to give back by helping others and feeding the homeless. I want to spread awareness of the dangers of abuse. You can purchase my books and contribute to the Castle Lewis I Survive Foundation by visiting www.castlelewis.com or you can call us at 540-999-8401. Thank you. Patricia Fayweather Harlow is passionate about the environment and conserving our natural resources. She's written a five-part book series for all ages called Rock with Rodney and Party with Perky to Preserve Wildlife, which brings awareness through these vibrant characters on preserving and protecting our national parks and historic landmarks. Harlow has launched a campaign to mobilize green supporters, informing a united front against big oil, big coal, and the Keystone XL pipeline, and she addresses the controversial practice of fracking in books four and five. She's determined to bring greater awareness to the dangers of drilling and running crude oil through pipelines that cut through pristine landscapes, and she empowers readers to take action in keeping America beautiful. To learn more about Patricia Fayweather Harlow and to purchase her books, visit www.patricia-fayweather-harlow.com. That's F-A-Y-E-R-W-E-A-T-H-E-R. And play your part in preserving the landscape that we all share and love. Hi, everybody. You are listening to Your Business with Faith, and I'm your host, Gina. We are live on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And for those of you that have just tuned in, I have special guest, Lisa Levin. She's the co-founder of the co Advertising Network, and we are so honored and thankful to have her here with us. She was just telling us a little bit about her story and their philosophy about giving back and really allowing for businesses to kind of merge and come together and really, you know, share their stories and help promote one another and kind of forge these relationships that ultimately build their business. So, Lisa, thanks again for being here and uh, would love for you to talk a little bit maybe how your faith shows up in your business. Right. Oh, gosh, that's a that's a big one. (laughs) (laughs) Um, You know, faith is so incredibly important to to Jeff and I. Um, It's really the foundation of everything we do, why we do everything. Um, and, and really, if you take a look at what we do focus on, um, we're very heavily mission focused. So everything that we do, you know, everything that we teach, we want businesses to be on mission for something bigger than themselves. We ultimately know that it's for God, right? Like Jesus Christ is our savior, our reason why we do it. Um, no, does everybody think that way? No. Right. But right, right. it's an opportunity to get them doing business this way because it works, you know. And it's so interesting to watch that sometimes people will be like, "Oh, wow, this you guys must be Christian," you know. <laughs> it sounds very Christian right, to me. right. And then, and then we'll also hear, "Oh, it sounds like a great business strategy," you know. <laughs> so it's just really right. kind of fun. Um, 
But it is, um, you know, very, very mission focused. Each one of our co-ops that we have, we have several co-ops throughout the Chicagoland um, area, and each co-op has a very specific mission. And whether it's kids with cancer, uh, whether it's um, the the health center that they're raising money for, or the veterans, or whatever, it's a way for businesses to to rally around something that's bigger than themselves. And right. really help them take their eye off of themselves and their bottom line and get them thinking bigger. Because if we're just focused on, oh, I have to make my mortgage or I have to put food on the table and I have to meet my bills and I have to do this for me and I have to do this for me, that's as much as you're going to get, right? Okay. Like most business owners just meet their bills. They just meet what they need to get or bring in that month. So if we are going to attract more as far as business is concerned, we have to actually be focused on something bigger. So that's really um, kind of why we do it. Um, it it's, just, it's just a lot of fun to watch. It's a lot of fun to be able to have conversations with people um, around that as well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, it's just really interesting. You know, and I and I, thank you for sharing that. And I, I think it's so true about, you know, having them focus on something bigger than maybe all their fears and worries. And, and that's just the truth about God, right? You know, when you really focus on something that's important or that you're passionate about, all that other stuff tends to fall in place. You know, God always, you know, prevails. And I was just talking to someone today about um, one of my favorite scriptures is be still and know I'm God. So in the midst of thinking, mm-hmm. oh, I've got a mortgage or I've got bills to pay and just really being still, you know, being mindful and present of, of his presence in our lives and seeing how he works. And I love the idea mm-hmm. of you guys coming together and doing that for people and having a cause behind it. You know, it's not just business, you know, it's not just entrepreneurs, it's real human beings, it's real people, you know, and they have needs and concerns and some of them struggle with these, you know, charitable sort of causes, if you will, themselves mm-hmm. too, which is often the why they got into a business, you know, something that kind of mm-hmm. uh, prompted them to do that. Um, so this, this is, it's wonderful. Like I said, I, I'm so inspired by the work that you guys do without a doubt. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's, you know, it's really cool to watch because, you know, if, if you really do lead with something that's bigger than yourself, you really just take yourself out of it. You know, God has a bigger plan for us. And it has nothing to do with us, right? Like, right, right. Something he uses us as his tools, and um, you know, Jeff, you'll hear Jeff say uh, sometimes on the show, it's like that tricks you into going into business. <laughs> he tricks you <laughs> into being an entrepreneur right. because he's right. using you in ways that you don't even know, and right. um, you know, he gives you these tools and these skills and and all of this passion about what you do for what, right? Like for a bigger purpose. He doesn't make you a carpenter just to build stuff, right? right. Like there's a bigger right. purpose there. So, you know, it's, if we can really tap into that and really understand it, um, you know, and then also God, um, he gives you what you need, right? So if you need to serve more people, and you're responsible, he's going to give you more, right? Like he trusts right, us with what right. we are trustworthy of, right? <laughs> so Definitely, um, definitely. So, and then if we are just focused on us, it's unfortunately, you know, it's not, it's not in his plan. So it's not going to work out though. And we've done it that way too. You know, Jeff and I, we've done it that way. And it just doesn't work. I mean, we've actually gone through a bankruptcy and lost everything because we did business that way. And, you know, we did life that way. And it was about the cars and the money and the house and, you know, all of that. And, um, you know, we just learned, you know, rather quickly (laughs) that that's not the way to do it. So, um, but yeah, yeah. You know, and again, I think that's so important. I'm glad that, you know, you bring up those points about kind of like the right way to do it and the wrong way to do it. And when people allow themselves really to be immersed in their faith and allow that to come through. And this is, you know, kind of something my audience is probably sick of me saying, but that's like kind of when the abundance happens because this plan manifests. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and it's it's kind of like what you said. It's not necessarily for us. It's for him. It's for his glory and how we help others is a part of his plan. And, you know, how we all interact and meet and connect. It's all, you know, the manifestation of what he wants to have happen. And so it's it's really right. neat when you think about being able to step back if possible, you know, and viewing it kind of in a objective outsider sort of way, you could see like all the beauty happening, how everything is occurring the way it's supposed to happen. And really mm-hmm. once you're in that position, it just it actually happens a lot easier, which is kind of what you said too. It's just, it happens, you know, more organically, it's easier. You feel more in alignment with your values. Um, so I'm glad you brought that up because that's such an important point. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I, I actually just did a study on being free. And, you know, being free wasn't um, just sitting around and doing nothing, right? Like, even in God's presence, it wasn't, it wasn't, um, oh, I'm free to just sit, right? <laughs> like, um, <laughs> right. one thing that I got out of it was, you know, I'm, I'm free uh, because I don't have to worry. You know, yes. I don't have to worry if I'm in alignment or if I'm doing the right thing, you know, because it's part of his plan. So that, to me, is freedom. You know, that's that's true. I like that, you know, just not having to worry about where to go or how to do it and just knowing that he is taking care of it. You know, and I think that allows us to be free, too, of, like, fear, fear of doubt, fear of worry. And it does. It gives you that freedom to kind of just be, you know. And like mm-hmm. you said, no, we're not just, you know, kind of sitting around, though, either. We're active, which is uh, obviously a big part of exactly. our faith is that we're, we're active people. Um, and you guys are definitely, you know, walking that talk and modeling for people how to do it. So we're going to talk more about this, too, and, you know, maybe even how this works with your family, too, because my listeners, again, hear me say it's, you know, we're, we're one person with many hats, but we're still one person. So my listeners, you're going to want to stay with us. We're going to hear some great things about our families and faith and business and how it all rolls in together. You've been listening live to the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio, and I'm your host, Gina, on your business with faith. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan, and I'm president and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals, and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support, to be your teammate, to help you understand what is your dream, what is your life passion, and then together we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals. Life is worth living the best you can be. Working with a life coach, you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion, and it's your way of living. Let me help you do that today. Let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living. I'm Steve Fagan. I'm a life coach, and I'm here for you. Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Leip is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We are live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And this is your host, Gina, and you are listening to Your Business with Faith. And we have wonderful guest, Lisa Levin, with us talking about business, her family, her faith, 
uh, the fact that her and her husband co-found this business together and the success that they're having while giving back to the community and uh, really glorifying God throughout the entire process, which is exactly how it should be done. So, you know, Lisa, tell us a little bit, because like I said, you're working in a partnership with your husband. You know, tell us a little bit about those dynamics, how that is, how it is with home and your family. And, you know, there's we could probably talk quite a bit about this. So if, if we need to move on to our next segment, we can. <laughs> There is just, it's Absolutely. a wonderful opportunity you know, for our audience to hear about real life. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, so, yes, I work uh, with my husband. We work out of our house. Um, and, it, it, you know, it's really, gosh, it, it can be fantastic and wonderful, and it can be challenging all at the same time. Um, right. You know, like I said, we've been in business together for 14 years. And the first go around, you know, before he went back to corporate, It was a battle. It was really hard because, you know, we were newly married. um, We were new parents, uh, (laughs) a new business owner. And just, you know, I was pretty young when I got married. So, it was, you know, it was all very um, new and hard and just I didn't know what the heck was going on. Um, (laughs) Didn't know how to do all of it together and and really – you know, had to figure that out. Now, the second time after he's come back into the business, um, obviously we're a little bit uh, more mature, um, more mature <laughs> in business and our, our relationship and, you know, <laughs> as people. Right, but right. It, you know, what we figured out is this is life. We are just doing life. There is no real separation between anything in our life. You know, there's no separation between business and marriage. There's no separation between marriage and kids and business even. You know, it's all just doing life. Um, you know, it, it, if people, if, if you've seen us, um, even last year when we were doing our events, we had our kids at our events running the, mm-hmm. the tech team, you know, <laughs> running, the, <laughs> the, the, running the, the audio visual. I mean, they are as much in the business as we are. And, right. you know, it's, it's just really a lot of fun because they are learning. They are learning so much about real life, you know, about the struggles of real life, about perseverance, about not giving up, about, you know, seeing things, seeing things through, about self-development and why that's so important, you know, and just really um, learning these things that I didn't have as a kid. You know, and mm-hmm. so they, mm-hmm. they would come to our events and run the AV. They come home after school and they're like, so how did it go today? How, what's going on with this person and this person? Like they know everybody, you know, right, <laughs> that, right. you know are, are making a difference. And, you know, they see it. They see us making an impact and they see the businesses that we're attracting and the impact they're having. And it's just so fun to watch them learn. Um, so I think that's really like a huge, a huge secret is just do life together. You know, there's, mm. like I said, there's no separation even between our business and our marriage. You know, it's just all, all of it all the time. And, um, you know, Jeff and I really do spend pretty much 24 <laughs> seven together. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, though. Um, you know, he's a great partner. He's a great mentor. He's a great teacher. Um, he really does come from a space of love with everything that he does. And um, it, he's just an inspiration and such a great partner. You know, I mean, you got to be a team. I, as you know, if, if you're in marriage and you have a, a right. family, you're a team. If you're in business, you're a team. And he is phenomenal at team. And, um, you know, he just he just pushes me. And, you know, I was telling you earlier, when we first started and, you know, started doing co op Talk, which is our show, I didn't want to have anything to do with it. Right. I was scared. I didn't want to do public speaking. I didn't want I didn't want that spotlight on me. I'm fine behind the scenes and I'm fine one on one. But putting me out in front, no, thank you. You know, I mean, even for our events for the first two years, I was never on stage. I didn't go on stage until this year. And we've had the co-op for almost three years. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh, gosh. So, yeah, talk about God's plan. You you know. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I know. I hear you. It's not your plan. 
<laughs> so oh, it's, it's really, it's really just doing life and doing it together and um, open and communication and trust and, you know, all of it is so important all of the time. So, yeah, we have two boys. Um, they're teenagers, uh, 13 and 14. Um, mm. Like I said, they've been they've been doing this their whole lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, which makes sense why they're so interested in what's going on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Our oh, oldest was actually doing PowerPoint presentations when he was like four years old. He would oh, put down so PowerPoint funny. presentations and have us sit down and, and present to us all of these grand ideas. And it was phenomenal. It was so cool to watch. So, yeah, he does um, video editing and all kinds of stuff now. So it's just it's really neat to be able to give them those kinds of skills. You know, and it's, I'm so, in, I should have had you earlier on in the, uh, in my show. And I say that because I'm so glad that you really brought it home, that it's, it's living life and it's all of the parts work together because so many people have this mindset that, well, work is work and home is home and personal is personal. And, mm-hmm. and they all interfuse together because we're, we're one being, we're one soul. And yes, we were many different hats, but we're still the same person. And so, like you said, the mere fact that you're just living your life and it so happens that your life is partly, you know, your family, your business, and people mm-hmm. are able to see that from you. And that's what makes you guys such business, such great business owners that people are learning from and are able to get success from, especially from the relationships they're forging, you know, and I, I just, I love how you said, you know, like life is messy and sometimes it's challenging, but at the same time it's fun. And we know you guys, you know, probably feed off of each other's energy with it, mm-hmm. you know, and I, I yep. think that's the best part about it, too. And I, I love how your kids are there. And it's funny, uh, my kids always come with me when I'm doing stuff, whether I'm at school or wherever I'm doing something. And, you know, people know that, that that's kind of a part of the package. You know, that's just who I am. Right. That's who they are. And it's, you know, I, I love hearing that, you know, you got your kids there in the background doing stuff. So uh, that's uh, that's great. Um So, listeners, stay with us because we're going to have another wonderful segment coming up ahead. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Dupula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapula strives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. Hi, everybody. This is your host, Gina, and you are listening to Your Business with Faith. We are live on the BBM Global Network and Twin In Radio. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to listening to our second half of our show. And uh, again, super excited and honored that we have our guest, Lisa Levin, in our show here with us, talking with us tonight. Um, You know, Lisa, I'm wondering if you'd be able to 
maybe share a little bit of a faith story, you know, how faith is important or how you know. Um, I know so many people just get inspired hearing about it, and especially since you said in the last segment, you know, it's not just, you know, business and then the other part of me is home and the other part of me is this or this. But, you know, it's it's life, living your life, and faith is highly interwoven into every fiber of our being. So if, if you don't mind sharing that, I um, I think our audience would really appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, as, of course, faith is, is a huge, huge, the most important thing. Um, it's what keeps me going. It's what keeps us going. You know, I mean, there's so many different struggles in life and in business. And if, if I'm not grounded in my faith, then I have nothing, you know. And so one thing that I've really learned is faith is actually action. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's, you know, you hear all the time, like, oh, I've got faith, God's got this. I've got faith, God's got this, right? And then you see them sit still and take no action mm-hmm. to where that, that vision is that, that God is putting on their heart. They just say, God's got it. God's going to do it. We don't, like, I didn't realize I needed to take action steps, you know, and that comes along with tithing. You know, that's, a, that's an action of faith. You know, tithing mm-hmm. your 10% each week uh, or each month, whatever, however you give, if you're not giving that 10%, how faithful are you? You know, how much are you actually trusting in God to really provide for you, especially in, in tough times? I mean, we've done it too, you know, to where it's like, oh my gosh, how am I going to give money? I'm late on this, or I got to pay this, or I got to buy food. You know, it's an act of faith, you know, right. and it's an action which was a huge lesson for me. Um, you know, it's, you can, so <laughs> this is one thing that I heard and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so completely brilliant. Like I can have faith that that chair holds me, right? <laughs> like I right, can, right, that right. chair's going to hold me I'm, and I stand next to it, but it's, it's going to hold me. I have faith in it. I don't actually put faith in that chair of holding me until I actually sit in it. Right. Right. So it's right. 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 You know, and that was like, I I used to operate from that God's got it, you know, space. And it just got me nowhere. It it didn't get me to where I needed to be. Um, yes, God will make things happen. Um, you know, things will eventually happen as, you know, God planned them to be. But he put us here to do. Nowhere in the Bible or nowhere in anything does it say, don't do anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, just sit back and let it all happen. There, right. Exactly. Just sit there and do nothing and I've got it all. You know, I mean, he uses us for his purpose. And, and when we say we have faith, it's an actual action step. So, um, you know, there was this one time it, we were, you know, struggling and um, I didn't have any money to tithe. And our pastor said, you know, gave the story of the the kings who tithed a lot, who gave a lot. And, you know, they said that wasn't really anything. And then there was that woman who gave little, but to her it was much. And I had $4 in my purse, and that was really all I had to our name. And I put the $4 in, and I'm not kidding, that next week, I didn't know where we were going to get food. Like, it was that bad. Like, I didn't know how we were going to buy our food, but that $4 was going to get us a loaf of bread. And I put that four dollars in and lo and behold, I don't know how it happened. Only by God's grace, somebody offered to buy us food that week out of nowhere, just out of nowhere, buy us Mm -hmm. food. She bought us $250 worth of food Mm. because I took that action step and it was $4, $4 I threw in the offering basket and it turned into $200 and $250 worth of food. If that is not unbelievable faith, I don't know what is. Right. It's like the miracle of the loaves, right? (laughs) Yes. That was an aha moment. Like, God's got me. He don't care about my $4. That was just an act of faith. And that was really what struck home with me is like, that is action. It's not just saying I have faith and praying. You know, yes, we need to do that. But he puts us in these situations to take action. Exactly. Yeah, you know, and it's, thank you for sharing that. That was, um, 
I, I love that about how faith is taking action because you're right. Our faith is not passive. It's very active and we got to get out there and do and having the faith that God will do something doesn't just mean that you sit, but actually are, you know, walking that talk, you know, actually mm-hmm. knowing and believing it. And I love that story that you shared from scripture, you know, because it, it's just giving it all to God. That's all she had. That's what she gave much like you did. And that's really what it's about. Like giving it all to God, you know, and just mm-hmm. giving your life, totally surrendering, letting go of that doubt and that fear. Um, and like you said, you know, understanding we, we sort of have to meet him halfway, you know, well, we got to give it our 110%. But uh, we can't obsess and worry about the outcomes. We have to trust in God about the right. outcomes. You know, just like you did, exactly. right? You didn't worry about it. You handed what you had, and, and look what he did with it, right? It's just, you know, that joy and that yeah. abundance that comes with it. <laughs> yeah. No, I love hearing stories like that. It's just, you know, things like that, they just, for me, they, like, fill my heart with joy, and they, like, make me want to kind of shed a tear because – it's just, I love seeing God at work. I mean, it's all the time, just just constant in everybody's lives. He's so very present. And it's at that moment of like absolute surrender when we totally let go that things happen, you know, and that's, that's stuff I've shared mm-hmm. on this uh, radio show for a while now that the minute you let go and he knows when it happens, <laughs> he knows when you're emptying yeah. that wallet, right? Like, it's not like, <laughs> oh, well, I got a hundred bucks saved over here. So, you know, he right. knows when we're really giving it all. Um, and that really is what makes the difference. It's that, it's that letting go component. And that's when, uh, faith really comes alive. It's, a uh, Mm-hmm. it's so important it really is yeah but um thank you for sharing that with us for sure because uh you know it's i think a lot of people struggle especially you know when um creating a business people get concerned um about that too so we, we're going to kind of talk maybe be about some business taxes and strategies in our, our next segment. So don't go away, everyone. This is your host, Gina, live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and you've been listening to Your Business with Faith. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran-owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C., Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Hi, everybody. This is your host, Gina, and you're listening to Your Business with Faith. And we are live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Thanks, everybody, for staying with us. We've been having a wonderful show with our guest, Lisa Levin, uh, just sharing some wonderful insight, really powerful ideas and concepts about our, our life and our work and our family and our faith and how it's all intertwined together and that it's really hard and to separate and maybe really we shouldn't because we are one person and we have many aspects about ourselves, but we are one person, one set of values, one set of beliefs and uh, one way that kind of guides us. So 
Uh, Lisa, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. I, I love hearing stories of, you know, I, to me, I find them to be miracles, you know, just um, mm-hmm. beautiful stories of faith. So I, I really appreciate it. There's so much value in that. And um, yes, we were kind of, oh, no, thank you. We uh, were kind of st- uh, starting to talk, if you will, about um, the business too, about how, you know, this was helpful information to hear about struggling because people start to become entrepreneurs or business owners and they get frustrated and they worry. And like you said, it's more the focus on the money and I got mortgage and bills and then maybe they give up and do something else. And, you know, having a strong foundation, kind of like what you guys do, especially what you offer with building business skills, maybe if you could mm-hmm. share a little bit about what some of those strategies are, what people could do to really enhance their business, um, what some of those events would look like that you have, you know, where people kind of talk and confer and meet and forge relationships. I think our uh, audience would find immense value in that too. Sure, sure. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we do the events. Um, our goal is to help open the doors for strategic relationships um, for co-opertizing. Co-opertizing is actually um, a, a strategy that we, we teach. Um, and to kind of break it down and, and make it really easy, um, I know it's not an easy word to say, so you'll hear a lot of people call it the co-op network. Because <laughs> co-opertizing is a word that Jeff and I actually made up. But, um, yeah, it's not the easiest to say. But um, co-opertizing is actually um, a strategy of packaging yourself or your services um, or your products as a gift for someone else to share. And so it, an example of that, and, and we use this often, um, is the shower cake. So can you, can you hear? Oh, I thought my phone died. Can you hear me okay? Oh, okay. Um, so the shower cake, and that is um, – where I actually used to make wedding cakes for uh, brides. Okay. And what I did was I went to a florist and a photographer, and I, you know, I gave them a shower cake to give to every bride that hires them as a thank you for hiring them for their wedding. So, you know, I thought about it like who who targets brides, and of course, you know, the florist and the, the photographer are the who came to mind. So I went to them didn't know them, right? This was just a strategy that we used to build that trust factor fast. So I went to them, didn't ask them for anything. I gave them a gift of the shower cake to give away as a thank you. So it made them look awesome, right? (laughs) Because they're like, oh, a bride just hired me. I'm going to give them a free shower cake. And it was like a tiered, beautiful shower cake. It wasn't just a sheet cake. So, um, but what happened was my phone started ringing. I didn't do any other marketing nothing. My phone started ringing with these brides that were excited about getting their shower cake. So what I did was I put them through a process. I, um, you know, said, is it okay if we talk about your wedding cake? Great. Can you fill out this, this questionnaire? I knew when their wedding was, how big it was, what their colors were, everything. Right. <laughs> and set up a time right, right. a little five inch cake with a little heart on it and their colors and, you know, just made it real fun. Um, went and met with them. And um, sold them a fifteen hundred dollar wedding cake. So it was an oh opportunity. My gosh. Yeah, right. Like that's just completely <laughs> unbelievable. Because they were calling me. They were calling me excited. I didn't have to go out and chase them. <laughs> so right, it, right, it was, right. It was completely brilliant, and and it all came from Jeff. I mean, he was the one who was like, "This is what you do. This is how you do it." And this is why you do it, right? Because these are the opportunities that you would never have otherwise. And um, it it was just amazing. My my phone was ringing. I did it kind of part time ish, you know. But I had like a wedding a week without marketing, the, you know. And it was all through these right, strategic right. relationships, and because I gave value first. So you know that's why we really focus on you know giving value. And, you know, then right. get, you get opportunities. So, you know, it, it really is um, an opportunity if you just change your thinking a little bit. Um, we teach at all of our events through our co op talk, through everything we do, we want entrepreneurs and business owners to be a lighthouse where you are attracting okay. 
you are, you know, you're attracting it to you. You are just so valuable that people just come to you. And um, because we've we've been those people with a flashlight chasing them around, you know, (laughs) like I, it's so much easier and so much better when you're that lighthouse. So that's what we want to teach. And that's what we're doing and, and teaching those strategies and the people who implement them and implement them correctly um, their businesses are just exploding, just exploding. So, yeah, so right. you'll hear every once in a while people from the co-op say, what's your shower cake? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, that's that's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Um, and it's, it's neat how, you know, you were talking about how you didn't even have to market. It just kind of, you know, came to you. Um, so that's, that's, that's wonderful to hear that, you know, and it, it should be effortless, especially when you're uh, passionate about it. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, uh, I think it's so important for our listeners to hear that too. And just, you know, to think about what it is that you guys are doing and the strategies and the tactics that you guys have. Um, that's, uh, that's so yeah. important to do that, to hear that. So, it, so I'm going to yeah, ask, really oh, I'm sorry, cool. go ahead, Lisa. Oh, well, I was just going to say, like, at our events, you know, we really um, open up the door. So, you know, people, we get anywhere from 50 to 100 people at each event. Um, And people walk out of there with actual appointments scheduled, which is really exciting, you know, for for anybody who does networking. That usually doesn't never happen, right? (laughs) Like, it just never happens. So people are actually walking out of our events with um, actual appointments scheduled, and actual um, opportunities that are available right then and there just from attending our event. So it's really exciting. Um, you meet a lot of people. Uh, we really do slam open the doors for opportunities with the questions that we ask, with how we facilitate our networking, um, just with having a very heavy mission focus. You know, all of it is, is all encompassed in those events. And it's all for, for results. So... We really need businesses to be successful. Right, right, right. You've been listening live to the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and I'm your host, Gina, and we've been listening to your business with faith. Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. MJ Domit is the owner of Expect to be Empowered, a company whose specialty is empowering people to live their best life by following their heart and accepting themselves unconditionally. After studying and making personal changes, MJ now focuses on giving others tools for self-empowerment. She provides individual and group workshops for people who are physically, emotionally, and spiritually blocked. Inspired by her work at Expect to be Empowered, MJ authored the book Waves of Blue Light, Heal the Heart and Free the Soul with accompanying empowerment cards. She is a Spirit Book of the Year Gold Medal Living Now Book Award winner. And her book is a number one Amazon bestseller in spirituality and was a 2012 gold medal winner recognized as the Living Now Spirit Book of the Year. An inspirational speaker, MJ will show you how you can repurpose every area of your life. Your life did not just happen to you. You chose it, which means you can change it. Visit www.expecttobeempowered.com or call 866-264-8024. Hi, everybody. everybody. This is your your host, host, Gina. Gina. You are listening listening to Your Business with Faith, Faith. and we are live on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Uh, I'm so glad everybody's back with us here. Um, We've been having a wonderful show with our guest, Lisa Levin. 
Um, just really having a great experience talking about business, faith, and family, and how it's all interconnected and how it's all working out. And so um, I would like for her to be able to share with you some contact information. So Lisa, anything you'd like our audience to have? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, like I said, we have lots of events going on throughout the Chicagoland area. Um, we actually have an event tomorrow in Northwest Indiana and Valparaiso, um, one next week on Friday in the South Suburbs in Orland Park, um, the following week on October 13th in Naperville. So there's a lot of events and a lot of opportunities. So I um, wanted to give the website. It's www.coopvertisingnetwork.com. And there's an events tab, so make sure you check on, click on that for all of the events. And if I can spell cooperatizing, it might make it a little bit easier to find. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's C O hyphen O P B E R T I S I N G network. So cooperatizing network. Um, find all of the information on there. Uh, as far as our events, we update it regularly. And um, also, you can give us, just give me a call, um, 866-217-8425, extension 9 will reach me directly. Um, and then join our Facebook group. If you're an entrepreneur who is excited about redefining success by helping others first, please, please, please join us and add your other friends who are excited about it as well, because we are on mission to reach 28 million entrepreneurs. So we need your help. Mm -hmm. We want you there. We want you to get the impact, and um, we'll be excited to help and be a part of that. So um, we have a Facebook group. It's just um, do a search for the Chicago, or I'm sorry, the Cooperatizing Network, and join us there. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lisa. I'm uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to reach out to you. Just like I said, your story was really encouraging. I think it allowed people to really think and reflect too about how we're a, kind of a whole person with many different parts, but our, our faith runs through all of it. And I love kind of what you said, just, you know, just live life. And that's, uh, that's yep. so true. You know, I think it's uh, really profound to, to live by that idea. Um, and I am so happy and honored that you were with us, Lisa. Um, thank you so much. You've given so much value to our audience. Um, very yes, happy you, that Gina, everyone is here to join us. Oh, gosh, my pleasure. And uh, you all know my website at www.findinggodspeace.com. Uh, really want to help people spread their faith and their mission and uh, really look at changing the world. So thank you, everybody. You've been listening to Your Business with Faith live on the BBM Global Network. I'm your host, Gina, and you've been listening to Your Business with Faith. Good night. This has been Your Business with Faith with your host, Gina Sanasardo. Listen each week as Gina empowers you to tap into your God-given gifts, allowing you and your business to find inner peace and success on Gina Sanasardo's Your Business with Faith. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.